I was just on a panel in Miami talking uh, about the functional mushrooms and the gut brain axis. And also on that panel was Dr. Jonathan Fields. He is a doctor of functional medicine. I am an acupuncturist and functional medicine doctor and a primary care provider in the state of Florida. I did want to dig in a little bit on that topic. So maybe you could just briefly explain to us like what the gut brain axis even is. Sure. So there's, it's a big area of growing research in the last five to 10 years. So within the Eastern medicine traditions, we've known about this for a couple thousand plus years, but functional medicine has really shifted this way in the last few years. Um, I guess one of the easiest ways to describe it is, well, I'll give you one example, is serotonin, right? Everybody thinks of serotonin as one of these brain hormones and that's affecting our mental health. Most, most people don't know that about 90% or more of the serotonin is actually produced in your small intestine right? Not in the brain. So it's very difficult to have good mental health if your gut health is off, right? If you have a poor diet or if you have um, IBS or maybe some other gut issues, Crohn's, colitis, any sort of acid reflux, that may be affecting your mental health. So that's just a brief overview. And I guess a follow-up to that question, and you kind of already answered it, but maybe just we can, we can do it again. Like why is mm -hmm. gut health so important overall? It's another uh, fascinating field. And as we've been doing more research on this the last few years, we're seeing now that gut health is actually important for every single aspect of your health. It is not separate from your mental health. It is not separate from your heart health. It is not separate from your immune system. A lot of your immune system is coming from gut health as well. So it is probably, you can easily say, the most important type of health. You've heard this idea that like the gut can act as your second brain. Do you think there's a lot of validity to that? So yes, that's part of this whole system. Uh, they call it the enteric nervous system, right? It's like another nervous system. There's, uh, they recently found out there's probably uh, just as many neurons and neural connections from your gut to your brain than anywhere else. And that's part of the right, um, gut brain axis because it, it will affect your mood. It will affect um, depression, anxiety, all this kind of stuff. It comes from the gut, right? As well as the immune, like we just talked about. There, you're just it's very difficult to be mentally stable if your gut health is is out of whack right and there's many different reasons why it might be out of whack now let's bring it back to mushrooms for a second here how is it that mushrooms or specifically functional mushrooms are interacting with the gut it's a great question and there's still a lot of research being done there's a lot of it that we still don't know my background is an herbalist from the Eastern medicine traditions. We've been, this stuff has been written about for 2000 plus years. So, and we talked a little bit about this on the panel that we were on together. There's, there's numerous reasons. So one of the reasons that might be causing mental health issues, specifically from the Eastern medicine traditional route, could be an overabundance of phlegm or edema in the body or uh, fluids building up in places where they don't belong, right? Because that can literally cloud your sinuses, cloud your judgment, make you feel foggy headed. And we also look at it like it's blocking the clear yang chi or the energy from flowing from the body to the brain. So one of the ways that the mushrooms help, besides the neural connections and other things that we know with lion's mane, um, is actually uh, most of the mushrooms are diuretics. So they help drain extra edema from the body. And they also help dry up phlegm and mucus in the body. So that's just one particular method. Um, I think there's there's some research on the on the lion's mane and some of these other mushrooms. Um, healing ulcers. So that's another method. There, there's many different patho mechanisms, and it's very different from the Eastern tradition because we're dealing more with the energy and the flavor of the herbs and your body type and your constitution, which is very different from how we work in the Western herbal sense or how we're working with the functional medicines, where it's basically like, you have this symptom, you get this mushroom, or you have this symptom, you get this vitamin or this drug. We will look at it completely differently. We're looking at it like, do you have a deficiency in your digestive system? Are we trying to tonify your digestive system? Or do you have an excess in your digestive system? Is it hyper or hypo? Do you have an overabundance of phlegm and mucus? Do you have an overabundance of food retention? Are you not breaking down the food, right? Do you have not enough stomach acid or too much stomach acid? And then we look at, at the flavors and the tastes and, and the herbs that can kind of work together synergistically. So mushrooms are um, a big part of the Asian diet, always have been, right? It's just part of the things that they cook with, many different types of mushrooms, their delicacies, uh, I think we're just starting to catch on to that here in the West.